a friend of mine asked me what is my favorite time of the year. I told her I like the fall. October to be exact, after all, it is the month that I was born, kicked off with a festival in which drinking beer is a theme of the entire celebration, and at the very end, you get to dress up and be whoever you want to be. She cut me off. She told me I don't know what fall is. I looked at her confused and said, yes, I do. It is my favorite season. She said, Texas does not have fall. <laughs> I told her she was right. Texas does not have fall, y'all. Texas is divided into two seasons, summer, and less hot summer, and those days in January or December where it does get cold, it's not really cold. Us Texans just don't know what fall is actually supposed to feel like. So I thought about what fall is actually supposed to feel like. That's about 42 degree days, 35 degree nights. I am not leaving my home. Good luck getting me out of bed. I'll be bundled in blankets like a burrito made of fajitas. I only want to think warm thoughts, y'all. And then I thought about those warm days when I can only think cold thoughts and how the sadness is enough to keep my body in bed for months at a time. How feeling this numb can send stifling chills running up and down the spine of my spirit and how even in Texas, with all of its warmth and its two seasons of summer, I I'm still unable to avoid the frostbite that consumes my heart. I am starting to think my disdain for cold weather runs deeper than just what touches my skin. I like to talk about depression as much as I like to be depressed, meaning I want to avoid it completely if I can, meaning I try to create a climate like Texas within me where the summertime lasts forever and the flowers always bloom and the grass is always green and the trees, they never die. I want to forever feed from the sun as if it wasn't also a dying thing. I make mental notes of the mornings raising myself from bed becomes the most difficult task of the day. I try to remind myself that the sun is still shining outside of my home, that cracking the crevice of a door can let in enough sunlight to illuminate everything inside of it, y'all. Sometimes you just gotta try and make yourself like the sun and illuminate everything inside of you. Shine in spite of all of your darkness. Prove to yourself and everyone else that you are also more than just a dying thing, but a radiant one as well. And of course, there will be the days when the sun is cast out and the rain falls heavy and cold like icicles shattering any attempts to crack a smile and I won't be able to make it out of my bed but I know those days they do end this weather it does change those seasons y'all I promise they do not last forever <laughs>